Hi, this is Jacob from pxmtuts.com and welcome to another Pixelmator Quick Step tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to create simple text effects in Pixelmator. First we'll talk about drop shadows. There are three main ways to create a drop shadow on your text in Pixelmator. One is through the fonts panel, another is using quartz filters, and finally using a separate layer. So first of all we'll show you the technique of using the fonts panel. We have our text layer here and we'll go into our text tool mode and if we hit the gear icon we can show fonts. Right within the fonts panel here you'll see a button that's dedicated to a text or drop shadow and if we click on that you'll notice right away it produces a shadow for us. We have some controls here that we can use to change the angle of that to change the offset, to blur the shadow, which is very limited. It only blurs it so much, and of course we can change its opacity. So let's say we decide to adjust this where we want. We'll make it more subtle, and we're done. Click outside, and we can get rid of the fonts panel. Now this is great, there's some nice functionality, we were able to move and adjust things and uh, technically we can always add text and change it. The only issue with it is, is if we try to style the text any further by command clicking on the thumbnail layer, you'll notice very quickly that it's taking the shadow in as well and it's because essentially the shadow is now on the same layer as the text. So there's a disadvantage there to continuing to style the text further because it's all on the same layer. But it is an option in Pixelmator. Now the next way to create a drop shadow in Pixelmator is through quartz filters. Pixelmator comes with some great quartz filters and you can also add third-party quartz filters to Pixelmator. The first thing we have to do is change the text layer into pixels. So we right-click and convert to pixels. Now there's an obvious disadvantage right away is that we can't edit this layer any further, but it's what we have to do to apply a quartz filter. So we'll go up to Filter and under Quartz Composer is Drop Shadow, right here. And so we bring up these controls and we see that we have a nice ability to blur. We can offset it horizontally or vertically. And we can of course change the color. And once we're done we hit OK. Now this way is really destructive because one we can't adjust the shadow any further like we could in the fonts panel and again we cannot edit the text at all and now when we try to command click on the thumbnail we have everything on the same layer this is very inflexible for going any further we've kind of come to a dead end it is an option though in Pixelmator <laughs> Let's talk about the third and most flexible way to add a drop shadow to text in Pixelmator. It's really easy to do. First command click on the thumbnail layer, then add a new layer in Pixelmator and hit option command F to fill it with the color of your choice. It was that easy to create a drop shadow layer. Now of course it's on its own layer so we can easily edit it and create a blur on it. We'll go to Blur, Gaussian Blur, and now we can adjust that blur to where we want. And once we hit OK, we have the ability now to still move it where we want, and we can change its opacity. And the nice thing is we always have this ability. We're not stuck in a dead end. We have the flexibility to continue on. And notice when we command click on the thumbnail layer of the text, we can now further style the text and it's only showing the selection of the text itself. 
This is the recommended way from the Pixelmator team and I find it the most flexible and best way to add a drop shadow in Pixelmator. Now the nice thing is we can also use um, some different styles to the drop shadow. There's another thing that we can do and we can use a filter and we can go to blur and use the zoom blur option. Now this creates a neat effect as if a light bulb is close to the text and you can see how naturally the shadow would bend the, as it's farther away here it would have more shadow than it would up close. This tends to be more like real life. If you notice I move it's like I'm moving a light bulb and the text shadow will bend. And of course we can get extreme but it looks pretty real if we just keep it subtle. And once we're satisfied with that, we can choose that and we can still move the layer if we want, tighten it up a little bit, and we still have the ability to select the text. The next thing we can do is actually transform the drop shadow layer. If I'm on the drop shadow layer, it's selected simply go to Command F to bring up the transform controls. If we go up to the gear icon we have another option to go to distort and this will allow us to be a little more free with bending this drop shadow layer where we want. And you'll notice we can bend this text any direction and it's going to reproduce that projected shadow effect. When we're done we hit OK and of course we can change its opacity. It's always on that separate layer. We can dial it back a little bit and we still have the ability to style our text further. And of course we can um, add a filter blur to it. Just give it a slight blur like a natural shadow would have. And we're good. And we can still move this layer where we want. If we want to have it projected down a little bit further we can do that. It looks great. Well, this is all we'll cover today. Hopefully this gets you started with simple text effects in Pixelmator. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next Quick Steps tutorial. For more step-by-step -step Pixelmator tutorials, go to pxm-tuts.com and you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Thank you guys and we'll see you next time.